Let's talk about Newton's second law and weight. Weight is different from mass. It's actually the force of gravity on an object. Uh, and there's a direct proportion between weight and mass on the Earth. And that's what usually confuses people. So let's take a simple situation. Let's suppose I've got a mass that's sitting in the air and I let go of it and I drop it and it falls with an acceleration equal to uh, minus 32 feet per second squared. I'm taking the y direction is upward. Okay. And the reason it falls is because the force of gravity is pulling on it. And we call that the weight. We call the force of gravity on us the weight. And actually we call it we call weight several things. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, so uh, if I have an object that has a force of gravity acting upon it, it has a mass m, and it has an acceleration of minus 32 feet per second, I can write that uh, the force of gravity, let me write this a little better, the sum of all the forces acting upon this object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. The only force we have is the force of gravity. That equals the mass times this acceleration, A is equal to minus 32 feet per second. Uh, because we use this so often, we give this a term, call that term G. G is equal to minus 32 feet per second. And this is perceived to be the weight of the object. And so the weight of the object is just equal to Mg. So there's a direct proportionality between the weight, the force of gravity, and the mass of the object on Earth. And that proportionality constant is this 32 feet per second squared, or alternately minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, it would be quite different if we were on the moon, where the acceleration due to gravity is about one-sixth of this. Uh, we could take the same mass and bring it to the moon and drop it and it would have a smaller acceleration and the force of the moon's gravity would be much less. It would be about one-sixth of the force that is exerted by the Earth's gravity when you put it on the Earth. But when you take, So when you take an object from the Earth to the moon, its mass stays the same, but its weight changes okay? because the weight is the force of gravity at that particular spot. Okay, so, uh, but sometimes our perception of weight is different from what our weight actually is, what the force of gravity is. Let's take a case of you standing in an elevator. So there's an elevator, there you are in the elevator. And let's start off with the velocity of the elevator is equal to zero. Okay, so you're standing in the elevator. You have no acceleration. You've got the force of gravity is pulling down on you. You're not moving. You've got the force of the floor is pushing up. And uh, so you must have, since you are at a constant velocity of zero, then the, the net force must be equal to zero. The sum of all the forces is equal to zero. And so that's going to be the force of gravity. And since I'm going to just draw these uh, vectors as positive, so I'm going to put the force of gravity minus the force of the floor must be equal to zero. The force of the floor we quite often refer to as a normal force. Not because it's commonplace, but because it's normal or perpendicular to the surface of the floor. So this is used in the meaning of perpendicular. Okay. So in this case, if we are sitting in the elevator with a velocity of zero, the force of gravity is equal to the force of the floor, and we're okay. And in fact, if we 
weigh 150 pounds and we sat stood on a scale, we would get 150 pounds on the scale. But actually, our concept of weight is not the force of gravity. Our normal concept of weight, the way we feel when you step on the scale, is the force that the floor exerts on you. And in fact, that scale that's sitting, that you're standing on is actually measuring the force of the floor, not the force of gravity. All right, and you've experienced this. For instance, when you get in an elevator, let me draw this again. So there's the force of gravity. There's the force of the floor. When you get in the elevator and it accelerates up, to go to the sixth floor or whatever, you momentarily feel heavier. Well, why is that? Well, now you've got an acceleration, so you've got a mass times an acceleration, which is equal to the force of gravity. Let's see, if we're accelerating up, let me make sure I get my vectors in the right direction. So, MA, A is upward, is equal to the force of the floor upward, minus the force of gravity. Gravity is going downward in this case. And so I see that the force of the floor, if I rearrange these, is going to be uh, MA plus the force of gravity. So when I accelerate upward, the force of the floor on me is going to be greater than the force of gravity. And I'm going to feel like I got heavier. Okay, because that's my conception of my weight. When I get up near the sixth floor, this elevator has to slow down. I'll end up with a negative acceleration. This number will become negative instead of positive. Because I've got them slowing down to a stop. So this number is become, going to become negative. And then the force of the floor will be less than the force of gravity. And I'll feel light. I feel almost weightless if it slows down real quick uh, because the force of the floor, uh, because of this negative acceleration, the force of gravity is the same the entire way. The force of gravity on an object is always mg no matter how the object is moving.